You don't let your feelings haunt you You don't ever get nervous, do you? With all the right cards in your hands I'm breathing just to feel my body Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video, brand new month. It is the first video of May and as always with my the start of the month I like to kind of re review the previous month, have a bit of a reset style vlog and just bring you guys with me and this weekend I thought I'd vlog so I'm going to vlog today and tomorrow. I've got a couple of things planned in for this video which is going to be fun and exciting including golden retriever little meet up tomorrow which would be so fun but i also needed to pop to mns at some point and i know you guys love my mns vlog so i thought i would bring you with me for that i am solo this weekend tom is away so yeah i thought i would treat myself to a nice mns dinner tonight and just stock up on some food, get some food bits in. So we will head there later today. I also have a couple of Amazon bits that I wanna share with you later on within this video. I know I quite often do within these kind of first of the month of vlogs, a few monthly favorites. I share with you some monthly favorites and I decided this month, I'm actually gonna start with some monthly favorites. So let's just set the scene and make sure that we are all together in grabbing a nice cozy drink or some snacks, your favorite drink of choice. Let's put your feet up, let's relax, let's all just take a deep breath and just chill together. Let's start with some monthly favorites. So I'm gonna start with a brand which I have mentioned before and I have been using their products and it's a brand called Typology. They are a French skincare brand which I've used their night cream which has lavender in it, it smells amazing, and also a face mask that they do. So I've been loving those but they very kindly reached out to me and wanted to partner with me on today's video. So they've sent me some new products which I've been trying over the last couple of weeks and I thought I would share them with you. So in terms of the brand, they're very much the sort of, they go for that French girl aesthetic, very minimal, less is more, stripped back, kind of relaxed, undone type of image, type of look. So I've got some products that I've been loving for that exact purpose, especially I'm gonna start with these two products. So firstly, I'll start with the moisturizer. I pop this on, this can be used like a day or night, but I do tend to use their night cream for the night time. Um, but this one is their Nine Ingredients Face Moisturizer. So again, that whole stripped back element of less is more sustainable skincare. It's fragrance free as well. So, oops, really good for your skin. So I use this standalone as a standalone moisturizer. But what I do tend to like to do is pop some, um, some of this next product in. So that's just the moisturizer by itself. Then I've got this. This is their illuminating concentrate, which also actually has a 5% vitamin C in it. So again, good for brightening. So you can just pop a couple of drops, mix two to three drops with your day cream and apply it to face, shake before use. You do have to shake it up. But this is the most beautiful kind of shimmery sheen that just gives your face a natural glow. So whether or not you're just having a no makeup day, I quite like to use this within my moisturizer just to give that kind of glowy, hydrated look, or as a base to makeup as well is really nice. So this is what this product looks like in comparison to the moisturizer and also mixed in with that moisturizer. Look at that sheen, absolutely beautiful. Imagine this on summer nights, holidays, just bare face, no makeup just this it's honestly a great combination so yeah i just mix them together and look at the shine on that nice and glowy and hydrated for comparison you can see there dull lifeless matte skin and that one has much more of like a nice natural sheen to it understandably both of these are some of their best sellers cult classics from typology the formula is really lightweight non-greasy just ideal really for those who want simplicity and quality when it comes to hydrating their skin and obviously both morning and night you can use the moisturizer this one i just use in the morning the actual glow drops were sold out within 
weeks of their launch back in December. So I'm finally able to say that these are back in stocks. So make sure to get your hands on them quick. I will leave a link in the description box below for you to head directly to their website to shop these products. Another cold classic and absolute favorite is this the eyelash and brow serum. It's got 2% pea peptides and castor oil in. So what I love about this is it allows to obviously strengthen and hydrate and nourish your lashes. But I actually love the applicator as well. As you can see, it's got like a spoolie brush on the end of it. So it allows you to really get each and every individual lash and also to be used on the bottom lashes as well. I just tend to brush it through them lightly again in an evening just before going to bed. So I actually have this on my bedside table so I don't forget to use it and it's part of my everyday routine. And then the last and final product I wanted to share with you is a bit bold, a bit something different for me in terms of their lip oil. So this one, they've got five different shades. This one's called Ruby Red. Again, that classic French look with that bold red lip. But if like me, you want it in a bit more of a subtle form, this is more of a lip lip like tint in an oil format. So it's nice and hydrating and a much more subtle kind of glow. So I'm just going to pop a bit on today. Just kind of dab it in again for that just subtle kind of blush to the lips. So it's very natural as you can tell it is buildable as well but this is just how I like to wear it. It's non-sticky which is really nice because there's nothing worse than like a sticky lip oil or lip gloss. And yeah, they are the products that I have been loving from Typology. So again, a link will be left in the description box below. If you buy anything, it has to be the glow drops. Again, such a cult classic that no wonder they sold out so quickly. It's just beautiful to add into your moisturizer. So loving all of those. I will leave a link to them below. Thank you so much to Typology for very kindly working with me on today's video. Now I'm gonna share with you a couple more um, favorites that I have kind of discovered slash rediscovered in the month of April. Okay, I've just made a mad dash downstairs because I forgot I was gonna show you some foodie bits as well, but I'll show you first of all a perfume which I have been loving. This is more of a rediscovery, I would say. It's from Maison Crivelli and it's the Papyrus Moleculaire. Moleculaire? Papru Moleculaire seeing as though we're on that French girl vibe today. It smells so good, so good for this time of the year, that kind of spring, lightweight, summer kind of scent. This is what, I mean, you can tell how much I used last year. I've just pulled up the fragrance notes of it online in front of me. So the fragrance family of Woody, the notes are coriander, pepper, woody iris, amaris, carrot seed, and base notes of tonka bean tobacco leaves. So that kind of like rich, deep scent that I love but in a summer version it's honestly divine. Another beauty find and something that I, I should have put it on this time actually just to show you but a new colour that I've got a new gel colour I'll wear it next time so that you can see but OPI gel colour this is in coconuts over OPI and it's just at the minute I've got tiramisu for two on from OPI but this one is more of like a brown kind of undertone like a gray mushroom brown undertone if i'm not wanting the kind of pinky colors and i want to go more of a cooler mushroom neutral kind of color this has been my go-to and i use my at home like a gel led lamp a couple of fashion finds and first thing i want to share with you these glasses because i was after some black kind of cat eye shaped glasses and yeah i love my tortoiseshell ones from gucci but they are tortoiseshell so they're brown and i was after a black version a black kind of cat eye and these are honestly so affordable they are about 10 pounds from amazon i'll leave them linked so yeah my latest sunglasses purchase that i have um worn a couple of times i'm not going to say been loving it's just as and when we've had the sun out i've been using those they've been my kind of go-to now i have quite long hair i mean it's in a high pony now so you can't really tell but to pop my hair up in a clip which i do every single day i've struggled to find one that holds my hair enough other than what i usually do is i'll twirl it around like this and just wrap it round and then put a clip here at the front so it's not exactly the prettiest look but with this one it's been really good because i've been able to have it more as like that whole 90s trend whereby you can like kind of clip it and it like clip from the side and it look nicer and actually hold my hair i mean not like this but you know 
you kind of get the idea if you do. I'll leave one of these linked below, but if you have long hair and you struggle with these kind of claw clips as well, then this shape I have found to be the most ideal. I've been stocking up for the warmer months that are fast approaching. I picked myself up two brand new sparkling clean fresh pairs of Birkenstocks. I wear these all the time throughout summer. I just find them so comfy. Sometimes, yes, they make your feet fart, but I feel like if you're a Birkenstock wearer, you'll know what I mean. But honestly, they're just, the comfort is another level with these. And I just went for a good old classic white and black. I did actually went a bit rogue and bought myself a pair of the Boston uh, Birkenstocks, but more so as a kind of cozy slipper because I went for the ones with the fur liner. So I was fully inspired, Beth, if you're watching, my friend Lydia's friend, Beth, went over to Lydia's the, I say the other night, it was like over a month ago now. It was in April anyway, but we went over to Lydia's for like sushi night and she rocked up in some Bostons with fur liner and I thought they look so comfy and perfect for like, if you're going to a friend's house, but you wanna put on a nice outfit, put your Birkenstocks on to be comfy, then I thought these would be ideal. So anyway, yeah, I picked these ones up. These ones are in gray. A couple of foodie finds that I wanted to mention, really random, but for cheese boards, if you're a cheese board lover like we are, we love a cheese board in our house. These, I've got fluff from the Birkenstocks. These are so good. They're from the Fine Cheese Company. We just got them from a, farm shop near us i think i got them from dalesford as well before but anyway they are they're called toast for cheese with dates hazelnuts and pumpkin seeds and they're kind of like a hard crisp style biscuit but honestly if you like like that's how they come in a packet like this oh we've got a we've got a nose that's brought its way over here sniffing if you like a crunch with your cheese board that's what they look like you see the nuts and seeds in there so delish um, I mean, you could just eat these on their own with butter, not even with a cheese board, but they really do make a good cheese board, don't they, Barney? Don't they, Barney? <laughs> this is kind of like a bit of nostalgia for me, but I was watching someone's vlog. Was it Alex Coles? I think it was. And she was doing a bit of a food unboxing. Oh, thank you. She was doing a bit of a food haul um, post food shop and showing some of her grocery items. She showed these Mulacorni yogurts. And when I saw that video, I was like, oh God, I'm craving one of those. I haven't had one in years. Um, the only thing is I can't find my favorite flavor that they used to do. I don't know if they don't do them anymore, but yeah, these Mulacornas, I love the banana ones. They're probably my favorite. I remember my brother used to like these ones. I really liked the toffee ones with the chocolate hoops. They don't seem to have them anymore. And then if this isn't a sign to buy some when I go to M&S today, then I don't know what is. But we've got two left, oh no, three left of these mini Colin the Caterpillar mini Colin faces. And I like getting these because Tom doesn't eat them because he's not a fan of white chocolate. The perfect little evening sweet bite if you just want to satisfy or sometimes i'll just have like one or two of those with a coffee but yeah they have been delicious and then that's all the items i want to show you like things but also i as always like to recommend some tv finds some film finds i forgot one other item that i wanted to show you this slip skirt from mango if you remember my spring capsule new in haul type video that i did recently i showed a slip skirt satin slip skirt from abercrombie that i loved but it had a slit quite a high slit and i said in that video i was going to return that because i want just a good old classic non-slit satin slip skirt that um yeah I found one and I absolutely love it. It's from Mango. It was, I got it in a small and it fits perfectly. And I just think this is gonna be such a go-to to like dress up an outfit, but you can still wear it casually with like trainers. I'm even tempted to maybe see if they do like a champagne gold kind of color. So a couple of TV finds, something that I watched on Netflix, which uh, was one of those movies that is a bit quirky, a bit different, something that not everyone's gonna like. If you kind of like the thriller slash horror, but not full blown horror uh, genre, there's a movie on Netflix called The Platform. I don't know where 
it's originally like where it was filmed i think maybe spain i don't know but it's dubbed so it's not like subtitles it's a uh, voiceovers very simple in terms of context when it comes to the storyline they have this platform full of food that goes down layers and layers of uh people so there's two people per layer there are hundreds of layers like two three hundred layers and this platform lowers itself whereby when it reaches each level people can eat what they want then it goes down to the next level and then those people the two people on the next platform eat whatever is left over so by the time it gets to the lower platforms obviously you are less likely to get any food but the whole principle is that there's enough for everyone if you were to just portion your portion control your food and it's like a monthly stint so then they'll wake up on a new platform the next month and uh, they might be way further down, they might be right at the top, and there's a few people within there, the storyline that um, try to escape. You follow kind of the main protagonist, like the main character uh, throughout the movie essentially, but it's just one of those quirky type movies, like kind of low budget movies with not really much other than just that is the whole storyline, but I found it really interesting and that horror thriller element keeps you on the edge of your seat. So The Platform on Netflix. What else did I watch? Oh, Lewis Capaldi documentary on Netflix. That was really good as well. Um, I'm a celebrity back on. Who's watching that? Let me know who your favorites are. And then after that, Big Brother's coming back. Who's excited for that? And then one other thing that I've been watching recently, kind of more so in the background of like, if I've been editing and having a chill day where I just want something on in the background, race across the world there's three seasons on a bbc iplayer that i've been watching and it's just a good easy watch interesting as well because you learn a bit about the traveling and the world and what's out there to see but um the whole concept is that they have to get from point a to b at the cost of an air flight but without flying and then on youtube really random but i keep getting recommended videos of it was ever since the manchester marathon i kind of had it live on youtube on my screen and a friend of mine ran the london marathon as well and for some reason I keep getting recommended marathon vlogs and I find it so interesting of runners during the marathon vlogging doing the marathon and trying to hit a PB and trying to get sub three hours or whatever. I just find it fascinating. I, I'm i not a runner by any means, but I like to just go out with Barney, take him out, just let him off lead, have a good run around. I listen to a podcast and it's my kind of time to zone out. So I don't run very far. I don't try and set a pace. Maybe I could try and get a bit more competitive with it and push myself a bit more. But for me, it's just, I see it as like a bit of a mental switch off. So if you want to find that encouragement to maybe get into jogging, running, I know Couch to 5K is a really good way to be able to do that. Um, also, like I said, just go at your own pace, plug in a podcast, just switch off, especially when the sun's out, just get in that fresh air, get in that nature. And yeah, I've been really enjoying doing that. And the marathon videos that just keep popping up, I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. And I just, I find it so motivational. I'm by no means a marathon runner or anywhere close to it. I've never even done, I think 10K, just under 10K is probably the longest I've ever run. So yeah, my, my kind of normal run is usually like a five or 6K. That's kind of what I do, that kind of distance. I realize my trash and pill have not rubbed in very well, but apologies for that. Anyway, before it gets any later, I feel like I wanted to get out and get into MS first thing this morning and it's already half 11, well, quarter past 11. So let's go to MS. Let's do a bit of a food shop, get some bits in. I'll show you any new in bits that I think you might find interesting. Oh, we've got the new lighting that's arrived from Jim Lawrence and like door hardware. So I'm actually that later as well. And let's have a lovely weekend together. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing. You're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point makes a world of difference. Oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing. You're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. 
tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong You're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart Back home! I've just unloaded all the uh, bags downstairs but I needed to get a new battery for my camera so now that that's done I will show you guys I was going to say I'll show you guys what I've just picked up from M&S but actually I'll show you the Jim Lawrence bits that I've got for the house because my goodness they're gorgeous. <laughs> Let's see if we can look in here. Okay so these are the lights that we've gone for for the um, downstairs loo. There we go let me take it in natural light so you can see this antique brass. They, I think they do it on site in Suffolk like they antiquate the brass. <laughs> Hold on it's gone blue now. What have you got, Barney? Have you got your bunny rabbit? <laughs> he loves that toy that we got him for Easter. Well, it's from Pet Hamper. They sent it to him. Look at him. That stays inside, though, that toy, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, these are the lights in the natural light. So I just wanted to show you that antique brass, how it's not yellowy at all. It's just beautiful. So... These are going to go um, wall lights either side of a mirror. They do do a mirror, but it was 200 and something pounds, like 250 or something. I just thought I can find one cheaper or paint one or something. But yeah, either side of a mirror, there and there. And then we've gone for a pendant light in here, which is just basically a circle, like dome, ribbed glass light. It's in one of those boxes. Oh, and then even got to go with it to match an antique brass loo roll holder so i may have mentioned but the vanity sink thing that we've gone for from burlington in here and the toilet is actually like a chrome and we're going to do a little boxed in shelf here with this tongue groove paneling so we've got a little shelf there but yeah it's a chrome stand but i've seen quite a lot that that chrome stand people mix the metal with like an antique brass but it's just got to be the right one i.e not a yellowy brass so this is perfect i absolutely love it so that's going to go on that wall over there what are you doing i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you Oh, we have also taken delivery of all the paint from Lick that we've gone for. Yes, hello, Barney. Um, yeah, so we've gone for the black 02 for in the front room, white 07 for in the corridors and the kitchen living space, like in here basically, and then green 19 in the downstairs loo. Oh, wait, is that your toy? Your country bunny rabbit's got like a tweed. Can you see? Yeah, it's very nice. Oh, look at them teeth. We've also had the brackets installed for the worktops to become, they basically need to re-measure this space because they needed to measure it with the brackets in place. So they're gonna come back and do that pretty soon and then we'll have worktops a couple of weeks after that. So there's been a bit of a delay on that, but that was done today, so that's done now. What else was I gonna show you? I'll show you some more of the Jim Lawrence things. So in here, I've shown you already the Lisbeth pendant shades from John Lewis that we've gone for in here. It's like a linen lampshade. And then in here, these are called the Double Morstan Light Antiqued Brass Fluted Glass. So again, we've gone for a bit of brass and a bit of fluted glass. I'm gonna prop you up on our exposed 
mantel piece. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad we went for a limestone surround. I just think it's beautiful. So with the wall lights in here, I'm for a light like so. And then it comes with two of these glass, fluted glass things that just sit in it like that. So you've got basically two of those. And then I've got one of those either side of the fireplace, but then in the other room, the other wall light that I've gone for. I've gone for a picture light. And look at this, even comes with gloves to handle it so you don't get uh, mucky fingerprints on it. So that is what that one looks like and it just sits up there. So yeah, we'll be able to get a nice piece of artwork underneath that. And then last but not least, probably my favorite things that I ordered above the lighting. Oh, it's stuff for our front door. I can't wait. I've got numbers, which I won't show you just for privacy reasons, but not that it really matters, but um, I've got door knocker, no, decorative door pull. <gasps> Beautiful. Bonnie's looking at me like, what is so special? <gasps> You're so special, Barney. It's gorgeous. And then what else do we have? Oh, our door knocker. There's like a little thing that goes here as well for it to knock against. How beautiful is that? We've even got the hinges from them so they all match. And I mean, our front door's probably a few weeks have been done yet, but you know, we're all prepped and ready. We've got our letter plate. This is actually the small one. But I'm, I'm glad I went for the small one. <laughs> I'm glad I went for the small one. I think it's big enough. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely obsessed. So, Jim Lawrence, if you're after any antique craft stuff that isn't yellowy, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The Anyway, I've got some lunch downstairs ready from m and Are you coming, Barney? I'm just gonna have an itch. Um, I've got some lunch, so I'm gonna show you the bits that I did get from m and before I eat half of it. Wrong light. I'm gonna have to get used to which light switches for which, especially that one, because there's literally like six toggle switches on. So I have to try and figure out which one's which and get used to it. I'm, so, I'm sure I will very soon. In Miley's words, I can buy myself flowers. Decided to pick up some of this Gypsophilia. Gypsophila. They had uh, quite thick bunches of it. Five pounds. I'm trying to smell it, but it doesn't really smell of anything. I just think it fills out a bunch really beautifully. So picked that one up for five pounds. And then I also got these sweetly scented posies. And I thought I would pop them in a jar. Are they little tulips with it as well, these, the posies? I saw some of them starting to bloom. Yeah, you can see a little bit at the bottom. They're kind of like a blush, blush lilac, I wanna say. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pop those in a vase. I'm not quite sure how you meant to do this. You meant to chop off the bottoms or leave them? I'm assuming chop them off, but we'll soon find out. If they only last a day, and that's probably on me. But yeah, in terms of, foodie bits I got. Let's bring over my bag of goodies. We did get some bakery bits yesterday from Buzzy Bees and Realms Oats. Honestly, delicious. So I've got half of a banana bread that I'm going to finish off for my dessert for my lunch. And then they started doing these now, ugly boxes, for four pounds. You get about five or six pieces in here, five or six quarters. So it's basically a cookie and a half of all just like bits that they're basically like quarters. So like, I don't know whether they're cookies that were a bit small and didn't make the proper batch or whatever, but I thought that was quite good. Gives you a chance to test out some different um, flavors as well. So anyway, for tomorrow night, Sunday solo dinner night, I decided to pick myself up a chicken filled Yorkshire pudding. These like little roasts for one are so good. And some fresh food. I got some baked cucumbers some scour pads. I'm trying to find scrub daddy, scrub mummy in white or gray because I just don't like it when there's a massive color on show in the sink. But then I found this one at the back of my cupboard. It's obviously a Christmas edition, the star in white. So I think next Christmas when they bring those back out again, I might just stock up 
um because i'm struggling to find the gray scrub mummies not scrub daddies scrub mummies because i like the soft sponge but anyway these are quite good so for my lunch i got myself one of these cheese twists with a salad i picked up a few salads actually they're so easy i think i'm gonna have this one today the superfood green salad and then i also got i've never had this one before but it looks delicious juicy watermelon and feta salad with cucumber in there as well and then the other salad that i got these are just so easy for lunches just throw some chicken with it or prawns um but yeah avocado kale and greens salad as well oh i got these never had these before let's try one Cotton candy grapes. Do they actually taste like cotton candy? Whoa. Like straight away. Mmm. It's just like candy floss. Anyway, I've got this mayo as well. We ran out of mayo yesterday. I thought I'd pick up this one to try. Sicilian lemon. I probably should have got a standard mayo as well. Because that one said it's good for fish fingers, prawns and chips. Yum. But then if you just want plain mayo, probably do be getting some. And then I also picked my second bag, because I got that much. It didn't all fit in my uh, my tote bag. Ginger immune shots, these are just more expensive than they need to be, but when you haven't got a hob to boil water and make your own, m and is the next best bet, or the Costco ones I like. I got this tin of tea, luxury gold tea bags, but I thought this would make a really good caddy to put in our like pantry unit where I'm gonna have teas and coffees and actually pop coffee, uh, pop tea bags in here. We don't drink tea, like breakfast tea. Well, actually Tom will on the odd occasion. He went through a phase of it, but hasn't had a tea in ages. I'll drink peppermint tea, fruit tea, green tea, but, well, not even so much green tea anymore, but luxury gold tea bags. Builders requests whenever they want a tea, at least we've got some tea bags or whoever if they come to visit drinks tea. I've got some bin bags. <laughs> I've got this. The coronation of HM King Charles the Third, His Majesty King Charles. God save the King. Still getting used to that. 2023 limited edition tin with the short bread. They have purple editions as well, with it being you know, royalty associated, but I just went for the standard cream and gold. Um, also craving, when I saw these, I was like, yes, I'm gonna get these, because we can make them. Don't need an oven. You can do these in the microwave. Just some mussels in garlic and shallots. So for moule frites, I could have probably got two boxes of them, actually. For me and Tom to both have moule frites one night. Just some standard French fries to go in the freezer. And that's that. That is everything that I got. So I'm gonna sit in the garden, I think. Have my cheese twist. I think I'm gonna go for, yeah, I'm gonna have the super green salad.
trying on this dress that I got from Amazon and I'm unsure whether or not to keep it. It's from The Drop, which they have like this whole range on their fashion section, which is their own brand called The Drop. And I think they sometimes work with influencers to create like edits or ranges or whatever. And I got this dress last year in black and I've seen that they brought it out again in white because I know they sold out of it last time. So they brought it back, but the white seems thinner and a bit sheerer than the black. The black was like quite a weighty material. This one's very floaty, which is probably better for the heat and the fact that it's white as opposed to black, which just absorbs all the heat. But um, yeah, I don't know whether to return it or not. It's got pockets, which I do love, but it was some Birkenstocks. I'll show you a couple of other Amazon bits because I actually had a voucher that I needed to spend. So I thought I would have a quick browse, see what they've got. And I got this candle and matches set. Firstly, the matches, they're from Emma Bridgewater. And I didn't know she did matches. So I just love the Emma Bridgewater stuff, like her mugs. I just feel like Emma Bridgewater mugs are so special. I got them and then this is like a real treat to myself. I mean, with the voucher, but I have never owned a Diptyque candle, only dupes lookalikes and this one is in the scent 34 and which i know is like a really popular scent 34 boulevard saint germain it's called i can smell it already i haven't even got it out of the box barely out the cellophane and i can smell it already oh that is lovely oh, i'm gonna love burning that i am gonna keep it boxed up i think and keep it special for the renovations. I've been doing that with a couple of candles actually. I've been kind of keeping them nice for like when the ground floor is done, especially like a couple of kitcheny ones for on the island. I feel like this would be nice in the living room though, on the mantelpiece around there maybe. Um, but yeah, this is the 34 Saint-Germain Boulevard. I showed recently in my dupes video that I just uploaded a asda dupe version for this candle and it was only five pounds let me tell you it doesn't smell as good as the original it doesn't smell anywhere near as nice as the actual diptyque i also got this byredo gypsy water shower gel body wash oh that smells good i've been thinking about that moule frites and i might have mussels and chips for my dinner tonight. I think the rest of the night I'm just gonna chill out, sit back, relax, watch a bit more of that race against, race against the world. Race across the world. So yeah, I think I'm gonna watch that this evening. Have a nice hot shower. I've just taken Barney on a nice long dog walk, getting my step count in, listening to a podcast. I listen to the girls' bathroom on this walk. And um, they're just so funny. So if you're into you're listening to them, I just, in fact, it was a really long podcast. It was about an hour and a half. So I quite like to just, when I walk and listen to a podcast, either do it in half or just listen to the full thing and just keep going, just keep walking. It does help me get my step count in. Feeling tired. I feel like I'm still a bit run down from, um, I mean, I still sound a little bit nasally, a bit coldy. I almost question, I know, I know that I've had a cold because I have I felt, like poorly like cold like but then i do question does it linger with me do i have like mild hay fever and i've had it in the past whereby i've kind of slightly got it but not full blown got it and then i've had other years where it's just not really affected me at all i do get dry eyes i will say that but not to the point where i am um, and i have had a, that eye in particular has been really dry so maybe it is a bit of hay fever but um, I have had it, sorry, I've not had it enough, like intensely enough to like take antihistamines for it. It's not like that full on, it just comes on randomly. But anyway, time for a nice shower, relax, pamper, new PJs on. I'll pop on the uh, typology mask actually, let me go get it. They haven't asked me to pr promote this by the way, but it's just one that I've used um, a couple of times, so I thought I would 
show it in use. I leave it on for about 10 minutes. That's the kind of consistency of it. It's like a gel mask almost. I just put it everywhere, leave it on for about 10 minutes before I just rinse it off. It's kind of like a clear mask, so you could probably answer the door to <laughs> tea postman and not scare him off. 10% AHA, 10% PHA. Um, so I think with those ingredients, I mean, I do it anyway, but you should like put SPF on, everyone should put SPF on, if I'm being completely honest with you. I have been using a new one recently that I will be talking about soon, but for now, uh, mask time it is. Oh, it just feels so good to like apply a thick layer of a face mask. I'm going to pick up the camera again tomorrow ahead of what I'm sure is going to be such a fun golden retriever little meetup. It's only a local one. I am going to the golden retriever cafe in Manchester though. They're doing, is it pop and bark? I've got the first tickets for the, I think it's the 13th of May, but I know they, because they sold out so quickly, they ended up adding a load more on. So I think some of them were on the 1st of May, so they'll have already happened. But uh, yeah, so I've got to do that which is so fun. I'll pick you guys back up again in the morning. Are you ready to go play with some golden retrievers? Are you gonna go play with some doggies? Meet some friends? Good morning guys. We're just about to head out the door and head to little walk just not too far from us that apparently there are going to be a few goldens there we'll see how many when we get there but i'm thinking about 10 to 15 hopefully fingers crossed should be good fun This is a face of a dog that went in a very muddy puddle. <laughs> Did you go in a muddy puddle? <laughs> we'll rinse you off. You stink a little bit and you stinky pup, but that was so much fun, wasn't it? There were 15 goldens and we had the best time ever. This one is so tired though. We ended up being there for about two and a half, no, not two and a half, one and a half hours, almost two hours. And um, yeah, 15 goldens, two pups, well, nine month old puppies. Um, but yeah, oh, it was good fun. Wasn't that good fun? I think now it's bath time for Mr. Barney. I'm actually gonna pop this. You stay in there. I'm gonna pop this that I got from m and yesterday in the air fryer. We'll see how we go. Cause obviously we've not had an oven. I've not been able to cook with an oven. I've just been using air fryer. Mussels, last night by the way, was so good. The chips I did in the air fryer from M&S were so good. They even had on the back instructions for the air fryer. So yeah, really delicious. And the mussels are microwavable, so easy. So yeah, I'm gonna see if this fits in. Well, it will fit in. We can fit a whole chicken in ours. And this is gonna be my little Sunday, Sunday roast. What were you sniffing that? Oh, it's not for the you know. We'll get you an early dinner as well, I think. But yeah, you know, like Sunday roasts, when people have them at 5 or 6 p.m., I just can't get on board with that. For me, a Sunday roast, you've got to have it at 3 p.m. <laughs> and then just pig out in the evening on snacks, basically. Totally forgot when I was doing my monthly favourites, I was going to share a um, like new concept. I don't know if I'm going to do it every month or not, but a concept of a like my favourite moment from the month. And seeing as we're on the topic of dogs and we've just been to a nice doggy walk, I did a video of a dog reunion with Barney and Tom at the airport. So the month of April, highlight for me was picking up Tom after he had a business trip for a couple of weeks in India. Obviously we missed him loads, but I took Barney to the airport with me and put up a little reunion video and it was just so cute. But yeah, that was my highlight for the month, literally asleep on my hand. Right, let's get you washed, shall we? Go this side. 
I had all intentions to vlog a bit more today, but I haven't really done much. I've been doing some work. Did treat myself to a McDonald's breakfast this morning. <laughs> so yeah, I am hungry now. For, I had one of the bacon and cheese, uh, what's, what do you call it? Bacon and cheese, like flatbreads. Hungry and ready for my roast dinner. So I am gonna take my makeup off and chill out for this evening, but before I do, I wanted to show you a couple of really random things that I bought. I kind of bought these, I don't know, White Company Dupes video recently. I bought these at the same time, but they're not White Company Dupes, so I kept them out of that video, but then I thought well, I might as well show you them anyway. Firstly, this bag from Hobbycraft, canvas bag, just plain and simple, so practical, great to like shove in your car for shopping bags, and just a really nice material as well. I guess the intention is that you can DIY them and do whatever you want to them, but obviously plain Jane over here just likes it, plain or simple canvas. So they were in Hobbycraft, I think for three pounds. And then I also got again about three pounds, these which were also, they might have even been a bit cheaper, but firstly this one, and it's like a pencil case. But obviously you don't have to use this pencil case. You could use it as a like makeup holder, makeup brush holder. I thought for my stationery section. And then similarly, this one, which I thought would be better size suited to um, either more stationery, like bigger bits, like, I don't know, staples and sharpeners and scissors and all sorts. Or it's quite a nice, decent size for a little toiletry bag for going away, traveling. And then I also got these in Tesco's. They are a linen framed photo frame so gorgeous so simple i've never seen just a plain linen photo frame like this so yeah got two of them got the larger one and the smaller one three or four pounds those and then last but not least i did pop to tk maxx recently and this is the only thing that i bought on that occasion so yeah i got this it's from le creuse again stocking up for our pantry and our kitchen and I do have a few Le Creuset bits in this colour anyway so when I saw this I was like yeah I'll get that could just pop like salt in here have it's like a salt pig salt cellar on your worktop or garlic it's quite nice doing a dog walk when it's this sort of time of the day because I had gave him a quick walk this morning but obviously he's had a good run around and play with dogs for well over an hour um, and it's only half two and he's gonna sleep for the rest of the day now so makeup off comfies on i mean i'm in comfies anyway but i'm in dog walking comfies so i'm gonna put my pajamas on no i won't put my pajamas on this early but i'll put a new fresh lounge set on i might just jump in the shower first and then time to put on something that I would watch when Tom's not here because he's not here and I might as well utilise that time. What am I going to watch? I need a good like chick flick or something that he wouldn't watch. In fact, what I am going to watch is that, uh, I think it's a four part series called Obsession on Netflix. I've seen that on Gogglebox clips of it and it does look, looks pretty racy. And I did say to Tom the other day, I was like, oh, do you fancy that? And he said, no, that's one for you to watch without me totally forgot to show you but i also got these when i went to tesco's and i was actually going to include this in my dupes but it's just kind of buried at the bottom of this bag and i totally forgot um a dupe for mandarin lime and basil lime basil and mandarin at joe malone and the um little wax melts that they do at tesco's they actually smell really good oh i do miss having a sofa <laughs> party out the way because obviously when it comes to eating meals like this i'm basically sat on the floor in this food bag um, but I am going to find something to watch. That obsession is looking likely. Excuse me. You're in the way of the camera. Thank you. 
I am going to end today's video here in my happy zone. My skincare is on. Thank you to Typology once again for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out by the link in my description box. And yeah, I hope you guys have had a lovely weekend, a lovely day, whatever day it is that you're watching this. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.